Hello, this is TechMate88, and I've got a new sorting system that uses categories to sort items into. Uh, this is kind of a more complicated system, but it's not, it's not terribly complicated. And actually, the very first video and the reason that I made a YouTube channel was for a system like this, where instead of having a, uh, like the standard sorters and categories for every single item type, instead of doing that, like you can have a, a chest for all the colors of wool, so that would save a whole lot of space, and I think it's a, just a bit more practical because there are a lot of items that you probably don't need an entire uh, set of hoppers to do. So the way this figures out which category to send the items to, there's these chests here which have a certain amount of items, like you see 35 and 64, and these are all stackable by 64. So when this hopper minecart runs along here, it's going to pull out an item from a category, like, for instance, it just picked out one from here. So then it's going to unload the items over here in this little item unloader. And that's going to uh, go into this chest because it's unlocked. So yeah, it just went into there, and that's going where it should be with all the other kind of stone types. Uh, you can obviously set the categories up however you want. And that's actually kind of a, a challenge in itself, maybe. Uh, yeah, you can, you can use double chests for this instead and have twice as many items. But, uh, yeah, I think it's actually better to use shulkers instead of this. But yeah, with a shulker, just in case you need to move categories around, it's quite a lot easier than setting these up. So the way this setup sets up the categories is a lot like what 0x did. And I just captured it there. You might have to rewind the video to see that, because it's pretty fast. But yeah, it sets it up so that the first, or sorry, the second, third, fourth, and fifth uh, spaces on this hopper minecart are taken up by items, and these are all the 16 sackable items, and that's for a reason. Uh, so then it'll just grab items out of here. This is the items you want to sort, just random items. And yeah, it's going to pick out those, and then when I press the button to, like the on button, it's just going to send it along its way, and then... Yeah, it'll pull an item out from this wool chest, the white, and then come up here and it goes over this hopper minecart, which unloads it really, really fast. And then that's unloaded by the four hoppers below it. So that makes this run... This system here runs at about 1.3 times hopper speed, if I remember correctly. Like if you're sorting different multiple item types at the same time, it can do that. So the reason I'm using this specific amount of uh, stackable item types, uh, the 16 stackable item types, is for the very first step of here, this comparator is going to read off the detector rail, and when it detects a full stack, it's going to pull one item out, because of course the way this determines the category to sort into, it needs less than a full stack, just so that it can uh, pull an item out of one of these chests up here. So I'll demonstrate over here, just have a little setup. So it's got 63 items in there. Then just pay attention to this uh, fourth lamp over here. Now I put in that item. Now it detects the full stack. So that was a really convenient thing. And I'm using four different stackable item, uh, 16 stackable item types, uh, just snowballs and signs, eggs, and uh, buckets. I think those are most of them. And I just use that so it's, I can just visually look at it. But you can use the same for each one. So now when I turn this on, it's still got that full stack in there. And I'll press this button and see if I can catch it. Yeah, so it pulled out one of the items. Then it can successfully go underneath this wool chest and pull out the item here to set up the category. So the way the redstone on the back works, it's really simple, just uh, kind of an arrangement that works. Um, so if I take out this rail to indicate this would be the appropriate chest, it's going to lower the signal strength out of the, uh, the chest down here. It lowers it down to one. And that's going to do a couple things. Uh, one is going to go down and disable uh, the hopper down here, which pulls out from a water stream. Another thing it does is it will uh, turn off the hopper or enable the hopper up here, which pulls out from the category to, so it can reset. And it's also going to turn on this lamp back here, 
which is a, a safety mechanism, and I'll get into that later. There's a couple uh, things you want for safety. It, uh, like this one, um, if the category is already selected, that means something went wrong in the past. So it's going to just uh, disable this door so the minecart will get stuck there until you fix it. So, like, if that happened, I would put, I would just make sure these are all set up correctly. So before I go further on this, I should show all the named items. So, like, here I'm, I just called them filler items, and these are stackable by 64. And, yeah, I just set up all these with those. So, like... In this case, if I wanted to add a new sapling type, uh, I don't think this is in there. So then I just uh, make a stack of one and just replace it. And just one more thing about setting up the categories. Uh, with this 16 stackable items, you need to make sure you take out four items when you take that out. So uh, you have to just replace one of them, then take out uh, three more. Then it'll be appropriate. Then now when I take out another one, it's going to turn off this lamp down here. So that's, uh, if you ever need to test it, you can just do it like that. Just take out the item while the system is off and just see if the lamp goes off. So down in this area where it's setting up the items in the hopper, this is something I just saw with Zero X's system. Um, like it'll put in just some random item in the first slot then it'll put in a couple items in the second slot, and they're named so that they don't, uh, they don't override each other. And yeah, these all have to be named items, which can be a little bit tedious with the, uh, the anvil. So yeah, then the signs, I just called them like, this is hopper H1 for hopper 1. You don't actually have to use named items for this point because they get pulled out over here. But for the other ones, they, they all have to be named so that you don't um, accidentally get other items into that category. Because the way they're reset is when it's emptying items up here, it's just going to empty all those filler items as well. And maybe I'll turn it on so you can try and see that. That's another on switch. So this will be quick, but... Oops, picked up one of them. But yeah, some of the last items it's going to put in here are those filler items. And those are all named. And they will get pulled out by these sorters. And it, just if you, didn't, if you didn't realize it, these are some of the simplest sorters you can have because there's no redstone involved. It's just these hoppers. And yeah, I've filled up the rest of the spaces with shovels, but like H2 is up here, then H2 is down here as well. I have one final item type here, and this is just a safety mechanism, which I have plenty of. Um, if for some reason this hopper didn't get an item in the first slot, this is just going to push an item in there. It might not be fully reliable, but this is a rare, rare case that that would ever happen. Like, you can see it's basically, it's never happened here. So that brings me to another point back here, which is another safety mechanism I added. This one is going to, like, if I take out half the items here, then one of these redstone lamps is going to turn on, and I didn't look fast enough. Yeah, so, like, if I take all these out, it's going to, well, <laughs> that failed. But I guess you can just trust me that if the, if the number of snowballs in here, the H2 items, gets too low, then, uh, then it will... Just turn on this lamp, and that will do the same thing that this over here did. It's just like a big OR gate that uh, can shut off this gate here, uh, stopping the system. Because if you screw up, and the minecart goes through when it shouldn't, then it'll pull out a lot of the filler items, which is kind of a... It's a pretty big pain to fix. So the last safety mechanism on this is uh, this one, where it tries to pull out a filler item from that hopper minecart. So let's say, oops, that's probably not a problem. Like, let's say I accidentally tried to sort the filler items, which you would want to pre-sort, and yeah, I'm really screwing up here. <laughs> um, might still be fine. Yeah, so if I try to send it now, it's going to pull out 
an item here, pull out a filler item, and that's going to, again, turn on this, uh, this safety thing. And that's just, just going to shut it off. And if that happens to happen, then you would need to come up here and just put some other sortable item, like bone meal, would be good. And then after that, you would uh, just empty one item out of here, probably like that. And now it's on its way again. And it should be able to pick all those items back up here to be used again in sorting. So now to explain the unloading system. Um, the first thing the unloading does, actually it's going to pull out the very first item from the hopper. Uh, the hopper minecart because that's the item that you're going to be trying to sort and it needs to send that in a separate water stream that'll go over to these top chests the uh, category chests as i call them so yeah picks out the first item and it's no problem if there's just one but there should be always two and then it goes over this hopper minecart and next time around i'm going to try and catch it on its way which can be fairly difficult. This stuff moves very fast. Nope, didn't get it that time. But yeah, the first one that would have come out is a white wool, and that's just held here in this dropper. Then when it's done loading, unloading the rest of it, it's just going to send it in this water stream. And that's going to, of course, go into one of these chests up here, like in this. It should go into this yellow wool chest. Or maybe it's doing another yellow wool category. So yeah, that'll probably go, yeah, yellow wool. And yeah, that just allows the next thing to go. And the actual unloader up here might look a little funny because I'm just reading off one of the hoppers. But that's perfectly fine because in this case, it's always going to have at least four items in it. So that hopper is always going to be able to turn on and then there's a little cooldown circuit over here. And then there's a uh, piston down here which pushes the observer over to make a clock to activate uh, activate the the droppers down here. And I'll go into here what this looks like. This is kind of a challenge to get this all compacted in a very small space and get it to align and also be able to drop all these items down at once. Uh, that's an important thing when you're using hoppers. You want to make sure that you send one full stack all at once rather than like a two smaller stacks like two stacks of 32 uh, just because they can only pick up an item every uh, these they have these hopper actions and they can only do them uh, 2.5 times per second I believe so yeah that uh, that was a kind of the magic to getting all this working another thing is that you do have to be careful that the items that you're sending to go in, into the bottom chests, that they arrive before the items going into the top chests. So if you want to try and rearrange this, that is one consideration you would have to take into consideration. Um, and you would just be able to like add more delay here, like more repeaters along the way. So if you try to sort an item that's not in your system, like cocoa beans right here, I'm going to try it. So I'll show you what happens if you do that. So it's not going to be able to pull anything out of these chests up here because none of them contain cocoa beans. Um, so what will happen is it'll still send this top item down and try and sort it back into a chest, but I've just got like an overflow chest over here. And this is just going to hold single item types um, that have not been able to be sorted. And then the bottom rest of the items will go down there. And I'll just send it once more. I got more cocoa beans coming so you can see that. So yeah, you would easily be able to pick out single ones of this. And then like, if I wanted cocoa beans in one of this, I could just uh, put them in there. But I'm just going to show what happens if they don't get sorted again. So yeah, cocoa beans should be coming now. And yeah, they just get sent along and they just fall off and then they'll be recycled back into the system so you can try sorting them again. So I think that covers about every detail of this, maybe even too much detail. 
but I wanted to give a shout out to Palo Palo and ZeroX. I think ZeroX came up with the concept for using chests like this, which seems like kind of an odd concept. It's not totally logical at first. Um, and Palo Palo also, actually, he was the reason that I even came across ZeroX's concept because he, I was just checking through his old videos on sorting. And that's one of the things that I saw. He featured Xerox's design. So if you ever want inspiration for a project, it's kind of nice to just go through people you respect, go through their old videos and try and pick out something, try and see something new. I definitely wouldn't have seen this otherwise. Now, if you actually want to build this, I think it is about ready. I built it up in my survival world. And actually, I was really glad that I did that because I ran into some of the practical problems like renaming all these items, which can get very tedious in an anvil. And I also noticed a few things that I can improve with the safety. Um, and actually, one of the things I came across by mistake was that renaming was so tedious, so I just uh, decided to put random items in here to fill it up the rest of the way. And that just made it so this, this was easy to do. Otherwise, if I filled it all up with these, if I filled it completely full, then I would have to have these coming out 15 long, which would have just looked stupid. This here is my survival world build of my sorter, and it actually extends way back here. So I have 32 different categories, which might be overkill, but I guess 16 categories might be a little bit small for something like this, because you end up with like a lot of miscellaneous item types. And, like, where do I put, like, flint or lapis or something like that? Like, maybe an ore's chest would be good. Then I had two different redstone categories, or maybe three. So, yeah, this is, like, uh, I guess, limestone-type stuff. This would be generic redstone components that usually stay still. Uh, then I have con container category with, like, hoppers and droppers and uh, dispensers. Um, stuff that's made of iron, like... Uh, like iron, obviously, then buckets, anvils, ice category, uh, leaf and sapling category, uh, generic wood category, which probably would need to be a bit bigger to cover everything. Um, yeah, I don't need to really go through all this, like junk category. Um, this is going to be the glass category. Yeah, goes on and on. But I guess my if I redid this, I probably would have built it somewhere where I had a little bit more space. Because the reason I wrapped it around is I, yeah, I ran out of space, of course. Ran into another build. So I would definitely allocate quite a long area, and I would make it straight, probably. Like, I would obviously had to have a corner here in the water streams, and that slows things down. But it was not very hard to build. So anyway, I hope this was enjoyable. I don't expect anybody to actually build this because it is a fairly complex thing compared to most sorters. But I figure uh, anybody actually watching this far is probably just interested in the general concepts and might have some ideas to improve it. So yeah, if you have any feedback, definitely leave it down in the comments. I can think of some improvements to this, which I'm not going to get into here. But, uh, like, maybe just stuff to make it smaller, or maybe just better ways to set up categories. So, anyway, thank you for watching, and goodbye.